its way into your collection. I must admit, Watson, you do have some part of selection. And to tell you so much of which I deplore about your narratives. Your fatal habit of looking at everything from the point of view of a story instead of as a scientific exercise has ruined what might have been an instructive and even classical series of demonstrations. Why do you not write them yourself? I will, my dear Watson, I will. In my declining years. So our present research appears to be one of murder. Does it? E. B. Monogram. Oh. Address Charles Barrett for the dissolution of the monasteries. We are moving at an high line. Brackenstall. Sir Eustace Brackenstall. You've heard of him. He was quoted in the Chronicle the other day as being one of the richest men in Kent. Watson, you're on a treasury of knowledge. And you think him dead? I think him murdered, Watson. Hopkins is not an emotional man. The writing shows a certain agitation. It is surely urgent. Do you think the body left there for our inspection? I think that we shall find the Brackenstall line is now extinct. too keenly, he took himself off until the poison had exhausted him. It distressed me, of course, that it should happen. But he was proud and sensitive enough never to allow me to witness it. I felt deep gratitude for that. And not a little pity. The servants had already gone to their court. 